Hello YouTube, Charles here and this video is actually a response to um, some comments left on a video from almost four years ago. Now the comments were left uh, two and three years ago by uh, Richard Pinka and Demented12 um, and basically they were asking me to do a video on how to install tar files that end in tar.gz or tar.bz2. Um, the video that I did before was three ways to install software in Ubuntu 10.04, so we're going back several years. Uh, but that video basically covered the uh, Ubuntu Software Center and Synaptic Package Manager, both of which install kind of prepackaged software. Now, when we're dealing with tar.gz and tar.bz file, bz2 files, those are actually compressed files, and most often we're actually dealing with code that you need to compile. So we're actually making the program um, from somewhat uh, from the source code. So I figured, okay, let's go for it. This is that video. Um, this is a little bit rehearsed, uh, but not a whole lot. I just had to make sure it was going to work because uh, I didn't want to do a video and have it be totally flubbed. Um, so we're go the program that we're going to install is uh, a game off of SourceForge called Haxima. And as you can see here, um, the file name is actually a little bit different, N-A-Z-G-H-U-L, uh, and it's a tar.gz file. So we're going to download that first of all and you get to see how quick my speedy DSL 6 connection is here not that speedy by the way but still uh, 10 seconds that's not terrible so 554 KB a second so just wait for that to finish And thanks again to Demented12 and Richard Pinka for sending in that question. I'm sorry it took so long to uh, to get this video out, but hey, it's 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 happening. So next, we're going to change into the downloads directory where I've got the file. Now to unpack the file, we're going to use tar. Now if you're you're using a bz2 file, it's dash j. And if you're using a uh, GZ file, you're going to use Z. And then we're going to say X for extract, V for verbose, and I think F is for file. I could be wrong. And then the name of the file. Now I'm just typing NA and pressing the tab key to complete the file name. Tab is awesome. I, I love Linux for that reason. It's once you get used to little tricks like the tab key to complete a file name, it really makes working in the terminal really nice. So we can see here it's extracted a bunch of software. Now, before we uh, can install the software, as I mentioned, usually you're dealing with uh, software that you're going to have to compile. And in almost every version of Ubuntu, or I think it is every version that know about, you're going to need to download and install a package called Build Essentials. So Build Essentials. Now I think I've already got it installed so and it's Build-Essentials and you can see, oh, maybe it's Essential. So Build Essential, no S at the end. So sudo apt-get install Build Essential, no S at the end and that basically installs um, C compiler, make, some other tools, um, basically essential tools to build software. So I've already installed it so you can see here zero upgraded, zero newly installed. Um, that's because I haven't installed it yet, or I've already installed it. So we're going to next change into that folder and I'm going to just clear this here. So Usually what I do before I, um, before I install any software, I look for a couple of files, and those files are install or install.txt and readme. Um, 
In this case, I'm going to less install to look at the install file. And you can see here, in order to build an install, we require some libraries. So this is Simple Media Direct Layer Library, SDL. Um, SDL Image 1.2, SDL, now they've said SDL Image 1.2 here, but they actually meant SDL Mixer. You can kind of see they, they linked to the URL layer for SDL Mixer and uh, libpng and zlib. Now I probably already have a couple of these libraries installed but I'm going to basically show you what you need to do in order to install them. Now you could click these links but it's actually probably going to confuse things even more um, because you're going to come to something like this and go oh my god what you know what do I download here. So what you really want when you're compiling most of these packages is the, the whatever the name is and the dash dev uh, file. So in this case, let's look for SDL image. So I'm going to go apt cache search, apt-cache apt space search, and then we're going to say lib SDL, and then we're going to pipe it because we want to use grep to look for image. Okay, so we have a bunch of them here, a bunch of files, libsdl image 1.2.dbg, libsdl2-image. Now, looking at the Nazgul requirement libraries, it says 1.2. And what we're going to look for is not this libsdl image 1.2, but the one libsdl image 1.2 tac or dash dev. So we're going to copy that and we're going to install that. and type in our password here and you can see it wants to install a bunch of other packages we'll say yes and these are dependencies and basically the reason why we're installing these is the Nazgul or Haxima program depends on these programs these libraries I should say being present in order to run so again the second one is mixer so I'm just going to use the up arrow key a couple of times and instead of looking for image I'm looking for mixer and here we can find the same thing and again I'm not looking for SDL2 I'm looking for the 1.2 and I'm looking for the dev folder so this guy here right click copy sudo apt get install and shift insert to paste it and I've actually got this one installed already, so we don't have to do that one. Uh, we're going to look for libpng now, app cache search, libpng, and so with this one, again, we want the development library, so sudo apt get install shift insert and it's already I've already got that as well um, matter of fact I'm pretty sure I got all of them except for um, except for possibly the SDL library itself cache search SDL pipe more Lib SDL 1.2 dev. So we're going to install this one here. Copy. Clear. sudo apt get install. Okay, so I've got all of those. So now back to our downloads school directory. And you can see off to the left here, it actually tells you how to do this. Um, but because we're in the folder here, notice it's dot slash configure. And any of the, the green files here are actually executable files. But if you just try to type configure, well, it's only going to uh, run stuff that's already within the path. I know it doesn't make a lot of sense because we're in the folder where configure is, but you have to use a, a, a dot and a slash to run the configure. 
and make sure you do configure not just configure it's not going to go and here it's just checking for different libraries that we've got installed and it says everything is configured now we can type gmake or make well typically um, I don't have gmake installed but make does come with that build essential so we're going to type make here see a bunch of software here now uh, a bunch of compi compiling instructions going by so far it looks pretty good and this is basically um, what happens when you compile stuff don't worry if you're seeing some uh, things that look like errors as long as they're passing by it's really at the end um, where it really matters now the last command here is make install but we actually want to install for everyone so we're going to type sudo super user do make install and then so now it's installed and we're going to try the Haxma program and just typing HAX and it looks like it's actually a shell script we'll hit execute and obviously it, it ran um, rather loudly so um, that's it please leave a comment in the comments below if you and like this video if uh, you like it if you don't like it what well, give it a thumbs down or leave some comments and uh, thanks for watching